So in our last couple of videos, we've established the polar form of conics via more or less the first principles. So now let's make sense of it by doing an example. So here in example 1, let's identify and sketch the equation r is equal to 3 divided by 2 plus 2 cos theta. Now the very first thing we need to do is to manipulate this equation a little bit so that it has the form r is equal to l divided by 1 plus e cos theta. As it is, it's very similar to the form that we want, but we have a 2 here instead of a 1. So if I take the equation, and I multiply the top and bottom by half, I will get 3 on 2 on the top, and if we expand this half into the 2 plus 2 cos theta, we will have on the bottom 1 plus 1 cos theta. Alright, so we can see here now that the eccentricity, E, is equal to 1. So what this means is we have a conic section with an eccentricity of 1. And which conic has this property? It's of course a parabola. And this parabola will have its focal point at the pole. Now in order to roughly sketch this parabola, we'll need a few more bits of information. The key one would be the position of the vertex. Okay, now also note here that the sign in the denominator is a positive. When we have a positive, we know that the directrix of the conic is located on the right-hand side, and thus the parabola would open up towards the left. So if the focal point is located at the pole, then the vertex will have an angular coordinate or an azimuth of zero. So the vertex occurs when theta equals zero. So when theta equals zero, r is equal to three on two divided by one plus one cos zero, and cos zero is equal to one. So we have three on two divided by one plus one, which is equal to two, which is equal to three quarters. So the vertex occurs at uh, polar coordinates of r theta equals 3 quarters 0. And to make this sketch even more accurate, we have the semi latus rectum length, L, is equal to 3 on 2. So let me note that we have semi latus rectum. Now the semi latus rectum we know is parallel to the directrix. So the points on the parabola are directly above and below the focus will have the radial coordinate of 3 on 2 and an angle of 90 degrees or pi on 2. So that's directly above and directly below the focus we have the radial coordinate also equal to 3 on 2 but the polar coordinate now is negative 90 degrees or negative pi on 2. Okay, so pi on 2 of course are the angles in radians so again, noting these down, we have the polar coordinates r theta equals 3 on 2 plus or minus the angle pi on 2. Alright, so with all this, I think we can make a good sketch of this parabola now. Alright, so on our chart here, we have the focal point located at the pole. The vertex is located along the polar axis at a distance of 3 quarters. So let's say 3 quarters is about here. So let's label this as r theta equals 3 quarters 0. And this is the vertex. And at a polar angle of 90 degrees, or pi on 2, we're at a radial distance of 1.5 away from the pole, or the focus. So I'll note this point here as r theta equals 3 on 2 pi on 2. And I'm sorry, I made a little error here. This should be 3 quarters. And to be clear that we're dealing in polar coordinates, I'll mark the vertex with an arrow as well. But I must admit, it does look a bit messy with this cyan color. Now equally, when we're at the angle of negative pi on 2, we are also radially 1.5 units away from the focus. 
So here we have the coordinates r theta equals 3 on 2, comma negative pi on 2. Equally, you could write this as 3 pi on 2. All right, so polar coordinates are not unique. All right, so we can then now sketch the parabola opening up from the vertex. And the plot should roughly look something like this. And hopefully your sketches are much better than mine. All right, that's not very good at all, but probably the best that my unsteady hand will allow on this slippery tablet. All right, so that will do it for example one. Stay tuned for example two where we will sketch an ellipse. Please like this video if you found it useful. And if you want to stay up to date with my latest videos, please subscribe. Till next time, best of luck with your math studies.